PAL stands for the Police Athletic League, and we are Cops Helping Kids. It's an after-school program. We offer an open gym, homework hub, computer club. We do boys and girls mentoring program. A lot of our centers are in high crime, poor areas. What's unique about PAL is the fact that we're able to have positive interaction with the kids, being able to create a safe haven for them. The 25th District PAL offers wood shop class for girls. My name is Suzanne bonsel Khan, and I'm the owner of Dovetail Wood Arts. Officer Martinez came in and said, I'd really like to do a program here for the kids. Is that something you would do? And I said, absolutely. When I found out it was all girls, I was thrilled. There's this conception that, oh, you have to be strong, or, oh, it's a guy thing, so it's not feminine. And I loved bringing these girls in and saying, you know what, we're going to do this. We're making wooden whistles today. Our woodshop class is a 10-week session. The woodworking program is set up so that week by week, the girls' experience grows with the tools and the expectations of what they can achieve. Press that in, done. Drill press. When people hear that I'm doing a woodworking program for teenage girls, they think I'm out of my mind. They immediately go to, oh, that's so dangerous. And you know, what I always tell them, I say, what's really dangerous is if we don't teach kids how to do this stuff. At first, the girls were definitely scared because it was something new that they were learning. But after they got the hang of it, they were open to learn new things each time they came to the class. Flip it over and do the other line. I went home and I told my dad, how come you never showed me how to use these tools? It's really fun. When you put sharp tools in somebody's hands, they have to trust you that you're going to take care of them and that you're not going to let them get hurt and that you believe in them. Perfect. Woodworking teaches so many life skills. What matters, what doesn't matter? How do you get from point A to point B? Blow the whistles! <laughs> when the girls started, they walked in here and they were kind of like, who is this lady and what on earth has Jessica signed us up for? During the weeks, as we got more comfortable with each other, the experience became less and less about the object we were making and more and more about the community that we were building together. Um, we started sharing life stories and events that happened with each other. And at the end, I mean, I got hugs and I got real thank yous. And, you know, I knew I did something. <laughs> we all hugged.